Hi folks, Greg from Pilot Institute here. This video is going to show you how you can fly at night in 2021 without having a waiver. And what happened is that the FAA put out some new regulation uh, in March of 2021. And when that goes into effect, then there's gonna be a new way to fly at night. And the way that it works is it's, it's kind of relaxed compared to what we had before. You don't need to have a waiver anymore. All you need to do is complete night operation training on the FAA website. So I'll get into a little bit more details here. So let's get going. So in order to fly at night, you need to meet certain requirements. And these requirements are in place if you wanna fly at night after March 16 of 2021. Put that date in your head, March 16 of 2021. If you wanna fly at night without having a waiver, then you need to do one of two things. One, you need to either pass an initial FAA knowledge exam, the called, called a UAG, after March 1st of 2021. If you fly, if you pass the test after March 1st of 2021, then you qualify to fly at night without having a waiver. There's gonna be a requirement for lights, I'll talk about that in a second. Or one of the other option, if you've completed your initial exam before that date, before March 1st, 2021, then all you have to do is go on the FAA website to complete an online training, training, not a test, online training for free after March 1st, 2021. So March 1st is kind of that line, that, uh, that date where everything needs to happen so that you can start flying on March 16 of 2021. Now, on top of all this, the requirement between the, taking the exam or taking recurrent training, uh, you also need to have a strobe light, an anti-collision light on your drone that is visible from at least three statute miles. And the FAA and the regulation, they say, with a flash rate sufficient to avoid a collision. Okay, so you take that as you want. It's, it's kind of vague, but essentially having a strobe light on here. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've seen those before. This was part of the requirement before, so not really a whole lot of change right here. So light, do the training or pass the initial exam, and then you're basically good to go. You don't need a waiver to do that anymore. Um, the, the, the requirement for flying during civil twilight hasn't changed, so you still need to have a light in there in order to do this. And, uh, and you don't really need to have the training done, actually, because this was something legal before uh, the regulation changed. So um, let's go ahead and talk about this little timeline right here. And I wanted to show you this timeline because sometimes it gets a little confusing and this is a little bit easier to actually watch. The regulation was published on uh, uh, January 15 of 2021. This is important because 45 days later is when the FAA made the training available for pilots. So that date is March 1st, 2021. The night training becomes available on the FAA website. And also the FAA changes the uh, initial exam to include night information. So that's, again, that's kind of a key date right here. From that time, from March 1st, 2021, there's a 15 day training period that the FAA is going to, that the FAA opened up so that you can take the training during that time so that at, on the day of March 16, 2021, you can start flying at night without a waiver. Now, you're gonna say, what if I do the training early uh, and, and I do it on March 1st? You still have to wait until March 16 before you can fly doing, uh, without having a waiver. So far, so good. Let's keep going. I get some, some more things in here. If you're looking for recurrent training, you've got really only one option. If you want to fly and follow the new regulation, then you have to go on the FAA website. The website is fasafety.gov. There's going to be a link down underneath the video right here. And then you can do the training there uh, start, starting on March 1st of 2021. In addition to that training, now if you've never done, if you've if you've ever done FA training, you know what I'm going to say right here is true. The FA training is typically pretty dry. It's going to be probably just a web page that you can read through, and then you'll be done, and then they'll consider that you actually completed the training. Um, we provide you with actual more in-depth, more interactive training for free on our website. So you can actually go and enroll in that module for free. If you're part of our Part 107 training, it's also part of that course. So you can just follow the training right there. But we have a separate module if you're not a student that you can actually follow and, and get some actual training. This is what it's all about, right? That's not about checking a box. This is about getting actual training that's gonna make you safe. So we provide that training for free and you can uh, go ahead and do that. Now that does not replace the FAA training. You still have to do the FAA training. My training is just to make you proficient. The FAA training is to make you legal. Big difference, okay? 
The, let's talk about the training period of 15 days. The FA is making the training available for the first 15 days, starting on March 1st, so that you have time to go through it. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning this is because March 1 to March 15, the day before uh, the regulation goes into effect, is considered kind of a training period if you want. I want to give you this warning. Don't go on the website on March 1st, 2021. There's over 200,000 remote pilots that are going to try to log in at the same time and then the system is going to crash. I know it's going to happen. So um, take your time. You can't really fly until March 16 anyway, so you have 15 days to do the training. So if you're curious, maybe you'll probably go on the first day. Otherwise, it doesn't really make any difference if you take it on March 14 or if you take it on March 1st. So same difference. Uh, you still can't fly until March 16 of 2021 without having a waiver. Is this going to be on the exam? This is a question that I hear all the time. If you take the initial exam after March 1st of 2021, then yes, it is possible. I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to be on there because it's all random. So, but you more than likely will have night operation questions on the exam. I'm saying random. The FA picks 60 questions from a database. There's a possibility that you're going to pick a, a night operation question, but it will be on the database starting March 1st, 2021. So you need to be ready for it if you're going to do that. The good news is the training module is already available on our Part 107 Made Easy course, so you can already get all the knowledge that you need. We even have a quiz available that you can use to kind of practice and, and be ready for what the, the questions are going to look like with the FA. Another question that I get all the time, does this apply to everyone flying a drone? No, this only applies to remote pilots that are operating under Part 107. If you're a recreational flyer that, are, that is operating under uh, Section 44809, then you do not follow this regulation. You have to follow the current regulation. At the time I'm recording this, recreational flyers are only allowed to fly at night as long as they have a light on their drone and as long as they are in uncontrolled airspace. So that's kind of a, a big limitation. If you want to do more, then you have to get your remote pilot certificate. Here's some questions that I've seen that people have sent me that I want to cover right here in this video because I'm sure you'll have the same type of questions. I took my initial exam in late, let's say uh, January of 2021. What do I need to do now? Okay. If you took the exam, the initial exam or recurrent exam prior to March 1st of 2021, then you'll have to take the free online training in order to become trained for uh, the, the night training. Okay. So if you've done anything before March 1st, if you've taken the initial or even a recurrent exam, then you have to go on the FA website in order to do this. Now, a note right here, this is going to reset your uh, your your expiration date, or it's not really an expiration date, but your recurrent date. From there, it's going to reset the 24 calendar months clock. So as soon as you take that training online, it also qualifies for recurrent training, and then you're basically good for another 24 calendar months. So that's kind of a good news right here. Another question that we hear, I have a 107.29 waiver. Uh, what do I need to do in order to, do I actually have to take this recurrent training online? And uh, the FAA has said that your uh, waiver that was issued prior to March 16 of 2021 is going to expire on May 15 of 2021. Okay, so you have until May 15 of 2021 to use your waiver and then you'll have to go on the FAA website if you want to continue flying at night. So that's kind of a, a big question here. Another question that I've seen, do I need to be compliant with remote ID in order to fly at night? I know this video is going to go on YouTube and it's going to be there for a long time. So no, you do not need to meet remote ID requirements until at least September 16 of 2023, which is when the remote ID requirement goes in place. So you still have a little bit of time from the time I'm recording this. Uh, after this, you will need obviously to, to have remote ID for anything. But before that, you can fly at night without having remote ID. The two are not tied together at this stage. Another question that I've seen a lot online, it says, um, completed my training on March 1st, 2021. When can I start flying at night without having a waiver? Can I start right away? And the answer is no, you have to wait until March 16, 2021, which is kind of when the, the gates open, okay? And then, and then you can go and do that. So if you did the training early, good for you, sit on it until March 16, and then go ahead and go fly. So that's when the regulation goes into effect. And then the last question, I took the Pilot Institute training module online. Can I start flying at night right away? 
And only if you took the training module in order to uh, get ready for the initial exam. Then at that point, I'm gonna teach you how to answer night questions and then you'll take the initial exam. So yes, my training will count for this, but if you're doing it for recurrent purposes, then no, the, my training is not valid for this. It is still good. It's still gonna give you a whole lot of really good information, but you still have to do the FA training online. All right, so just wanna make sure that all of these are out there. If you have additional questions, leave them in the comments and, uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. So until then, fly safe and make sure you put these two dates on your calendar and make sure that you understand how this works and then uh, tell other people.